SQL map also allows you to get different types of shells on the target server. So you can actually try to get an OS shell using the OS shell argument. So all you have to do is just run SQL map and put the URL and then ask for an OS shell. Now in my case, we've seen that we can't actually upload files to the server. So now it's asking me, what do I want? What's, what's the language that's used on the server? It's using PHP. And you can see that the file is cannot be uploaded. It's given a 404 error because my website, my target doesn't allow the MySQL user to upload stuff. If this works, you'll actually get an OS shell and you'll be able to run OS commands on the target computer. Another th cool thing is you can ask for an SQL shell. And what this will give you, it will allow you to run any SQL statement straight away as if you're running it through MySQL. So we were able to do that before anyway using the new, the union select. But in this, you'll, you'll actually be running proper SQL queries and they'll look, it's much easier to write, much easier to read. So you'll actually be able to run more powerful attacks. For example, we can just select the user by saying current user. or we can just say user. We can also get our current database by asking for the database. You can look up SQL syntax and then run any SQL command you want. For example, if we wanted to select all the tables like we were doing before, we can just do select table name from information schema.tables where table schema is equal to OS 10. And I probably made a mistake here. I forgot an N. So I'm just going to add the N here. Hit enter. And I actually need an underscore here. Sorry about that. And as you can see now, we're getting all the tables related to the database called OWASP10. Again, in here you can run any SQL statement that you want. It's just a nicer and easier way to execute your queries.